delighted to say that she's legally obligated to stay at least 10 foot away from me at all times. <laughs> it's Lou Sanders. <laughs> Now, Ahmed, you famously made the late Queen laugh. I made her come. <laughs> <laughs> Your next challenge, Ahmed. How am I supposed to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> what am I... I don't know why I said it. It's a um, let off steam tool for rapists. <laughs> <laughs> You can. can. Okay, okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> right. It's <a> football. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, it's a fair point. Oh, mate, don't blame the messenger. <laughs> oh, the woman's fault again, is it? <laughs> yes, what's me up to now? Oh. I've got a sniffer dog and I'm not afraid to use her. Oh. This dog can sniff out. <laughs> I'm the drug carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, you stay right where you are. Nothing to be afraid of. Just don't go near Ruby's pussy on my hole. <laughs> OK, so this dog can sniff out drugs and winners. Absolute nightmare dealing with Lance Armstrong. Um, <laughs> so this dog is going to sniff out the first place winner, just, natu just naturally. Just naturally going to sniff out the first place winner. It's Ruby! We didn't really have like a games console or anything. So was it before Babe Station? I was 11, so. Okay, yeah. of course, yeah. Um, well, I... no, you could have watched Baby Station. <laughs> <laughs> it's for younger viewers. <laughs> let's, let's just let that one sit for a bit, Lee, show us. Oh, God, I forgot what Babe Station yeah. was when I said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, God. I think I'm going to take this summary to a nunnery. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. What a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> We've sent me lovely Luli out and about to gather some confessions from the public via the honesty horse. Oh. Lou, we saw you in bed with a horse earlier. What was all that about? Yes, I fucked a horse. OK. <laughs> Bring on the TV trolley. <laughs> Switch it on. Which remote is it? Ah. Uh, which from? Oh, oh dear. Oh, hang on. Uh, Ryland, can you smile a little bit more widely, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, now. Oh. Hang on. This is the right one. Here we go. Dirty little secret has run its course It's time to confess to the honesty horse What's your name? Lauren What have you done? Years ago, I was living with a girlfriend and we had another couple move in below Very attractive couple <laughs> and they were at it very loud and vocal, so I was like, oh, that's quite hot. Mm. Um, so I went into the bedroom and... <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend walked in, so I flipped on my back. <laughs> what do you do while his sexy downstairs neighbours were rather noisily having a little bit of nookie? And how did he react when his girlfriend walked in? Rylan. I think Varen started to masturbate, oh. listening to his neighbours, and he flipped over so quick he snapped his banjo. <laughs> he, oh, God, my he, teacher's here. Um, What's the banjo? I'm so sorry, Mr Welling says. It's when you pull it back and the, the sort of piece of skin that connects the... Yeah. I know. And if you give a EJ with too many teeth, it's a problem for you. No, it's... I had mine smoothed on oh, purpose. Did, did you? Yeah. <laughs> So apparently, when I, when I went under the anaesthetic to have these teeth put in, my yeah. dentist, he was like, do you remember what you said to me when you were going under? I went, no, what did I say? And he went, can you make sure you smooth the front lot for the blowjobs? Wow. <laughs> I'm quite a hit with the boys. Wow. <laughs> I've broken mine once before. The noise it made was the worst thing I've ever heard. Did it go... <laughs> do, you, do you really want to know what noise it made? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. The noise it made was... 
Oh. And then a lot of blood, or...? A lot. Oh. <laughs> Learn something new every episode. <laughs> uh, any more guesses? I think he had a massive meltdown. It was banging on the wall saying, keep it down, you pricks. <laughs> And then the girlfriend came in and was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. I think previous to this, he's drilled a hole. I think they call them glory holes. They do. <laughs> I learnt that on this show. Did you? <laughs> Series <laughs> two. Me. <laughs> I think you're meant to put your penis through it. You are. Aren't you? Yeah. But I think because he's then got onto his back, it's all gone wrong, hasn't it? It's gone and wrong. And then he's had to then roll over and pretend to uh, have a stroke. Mm. Not that type. <laughs> Not that type. Let's find out. One evening, I heard them being very vocal. <laughs> So uh, I went into my room and uh, I had a blood pressure kit. And I put the stethoscope to the floor. <gasps> and my girlfriend walked in, so I flipped on my back and I pretended to have a heart attack. <laughs> and I held the stethoscope to my chest as though I was listening to it. We're just normal men. <laughs> Who gets a point for that? I think Varen gets a point for that, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Shall we see some more of the honesty horse? Yeah. Please. I think we've still got to. <laughs> Sorry, I think that might have been the wrong tape. <laughs> what disgusting story have you got for me? So my story begins at a house party and there was a guy there that was just a dick. When I see dicks like that at parties, I sometimes, like, get off with them. <laughs> so he went to the toilet and I wasn't having any of this and I wanted to get my own back. So my friend <laughs> and we mixed them with his tobacco. So when he comes back from the toilet, he rolls a cigarette, it completely burns down, mm. and the whole room just filled. <laughs> so Larry there at a party with a real mm. asshole. <laughs> What's her secret ingredient? Oh, I wonder. I Listen. shaved my eyebrows off once in a party. It happens a lot. I wonder if she mixed that with the tobacco. I think she's put something of her own pubic hair or... Oh! She's done something, hasn't she? Oh, she's got it! She's cl... What? She's, she's, she said pubes. Oh, but well, pubes we, usually we play for a bit longer, but... OK. okay. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, what did Lowry do? So my friend cut off his pubes and we mixed them with his tobacco. <laughs> He rolls a cigarette and the whole room just filled with the smell of burnt hair. Pube that in the pipe and smoke it. Good guess. Right, OK, so only one person's asked me to marry them, which is kind of unbelievable. But I knew he was going to ask me to marry him because he said, like, what size is your ring finger? And I was like, oh, you're going to ask me to marry you. And he said, no, I want to see if it'll fit on my bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> and it did. It did, yeah. And it did? Yeah, it did, yeah. But I was just trying to make a laugh, but it just was really going disastrously. I think it's nice of Gwyneth to speak to the extras. <laughs> This week, Mel... Just stop oil! Just stop oil! Oh, oh God, God, no. Look, it's a really good course. I'm really behind it and everything, but I do need to give everyone their scores. It's quite yeah. important. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah, was... OK, I think we all want to know, yeah. Yeah, OK, great. Yeah. So, in the lead, so scores... Thank you. Thank we've you. got Jamie... And... Just stop scores! Just stop scores! <laughs> oh, that is... That is really important. That's important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, no scores today. Some things are more important. Yeah, well done. On your side, sister. Yeah. On your side. Very yeah. strong. Thank you. Uh, this week, Mel, I've been practicing my magic. So I'm going to reveal <laughs> the scores while doing a card trick. Alex, give me a number, any number. Seven. Seven. Um, Tim, give me a number, any number. Fifty-three. OK, I'll get two cards, and it's 19. Um, Ian? Sex. Yes, and it's Jack. OK, magic, magic. Wow, look, I didn't know you were so good at magic. Yeah. Well, are you ready for my best trick? <gasps> it's a rabbit. <laughs> Don't worry, the rabbit was dead when I put it in there. <laughs> She had to move round the corner, cock up and the corner. No, no, Louis. I'm, I'm not having that. <laughs> not having that. Not having that. Yeah. No. Yeah. She had to move round the corner. Corner, corner cabana. cabana. The 
And then we just, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and then Mario could be top striker. Right. I'm here, Jesus. Okay, what you mean for okay. my head is oh, not fitting in there. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Three um, men in my box. Yeah, lucky do you know me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? My dad loves steak. There's nothing else that he likes more than. Who steak. drinks tea with steak? <laughs> yeah, basically, we like to sleep in it. So we say, love our sleep. So say breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, I don't know. Maybe he gets a kick out of it to come wake us up at five. So he, he woke us up, we don't need standard procedure, fine. We're mad, but we got act mad. Mm. So he goes back to his room, innit? Back to the den. Routine. That's when we get up and like, yeah. cool, <laughs> let's mess with some stuff. <laughs> when he took his first sip of the tea, oh my gosh, disappointment was in his face. <laughs> All over. <laughs> The Smythe brothers there taking revenge on their early rising tea and steak loving father. But what did they do with their father's tea to make him so disappointed? <laughs> Lindsay. This is something my brother does. And he doesn't do it all the time. He does it long enough, he gives it a break. So you forget he does it. But every now and again, he'll put a raw potato in your tea. <laughs> <laughs> You get halfway down your tear, you go, there's a bloody potato in there! <laughs> Ahmed. What they put in the tea is their pet overweight hamster. <laughs> oh. that, and they make sure it's not too hot, it's warm, and the hamster is stuck in it, but thinks it's having a, a kind of hot tub experience. <laughs> and it's got its arms, they're just kind of going, ah. In a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> the sports direct mug, that's big enough. We can all get it. <laughs> Joel. Oat milk. Oh. 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 Imagine putting that in tea. No. Oh. Breast milk. Oh. I had a breast milk flat white the other day. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. Did from you? My wife. Um, I didn't know that tip milk, when it comes out, I thought it'd come out in a straight line. There's like 50 holes. Yeah. <laughs> It was broke, I think, because it was like... <laughs> you know, no, but you know when you're in the shower and you look up at the shower head and you have that one hole that goes off? <laughs> so did you actually have your wife's breast milk in your coffee? Yeah, I did, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Imagine if it wasn't his wife's yeah. breast milk. <laughs> was it just for lols? Just, just for lols, yeah. man. But it was sweet. It does taste like weirdly like um, coconut milk. Oh, mine tastes like cardboard water. <laughs> Cardboard water. Like if you put cardboard in water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is this some kind of Birmingham delicacy? <laughs> Smides, reveal yourselves. Got the sugar and the salt. Put the salt and the sugar. And we left it right where he sits. So when he <laughs> took his first sip of the tea, oh my gosh, disappointment was in his face. <laughs> All over. <laughs> Quite a lot of like dads get in trouble for like leaving the family unit and not seeing their kids again. Yeah. And you sort of think, I can understand why. <laughs> Angry daddy. <laughs> Ruby, do you know what a Ruby Murray is? Oh, it's a curry. No, it's Andy Murray's auntie. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. was that? <laughs> What in the name of God did I, I just really sit through? <laughs> I filled up two whole milk bottles with um, piss. Shit in the end. <laughs> no, you didn't. With shit. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> you shit in a milk bottle. I wasn't expecting everyone to believe me. <laughs> it was a, a light-hearted joke. Let's move on, shall we? There's a moment where you're in the river where you're like, well, we're just. In the river. Is it sort of niche out of water? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lou Sanders. Thank you. That's why we pay the bucks. I met Mickey Mouse. We were all taking pictures, and then I said to Mickey Mouse, Oh, should we have a bit of a sexy one? And went to put my leg up, and Mickey Mouse went like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked him after, obviously, but. Um... <laughs> what did you make of that then? <laughs> Well, I couldn't actually hear anything, Mel, because I was wearing these noise-cancelling head gnomes. <laughs> Best one yet.
Hello. Hi. You don't look so bad. No, I'm not. What have you done? So, I was having a beauty pamper life this one night with a few friends of mine. That's not so bad. Girlies be girlies. Oh, I'll get there. I was... <laughs> and when I opened her up, I noticed that it looked a bit like cocaine. And one of the girls, she's a bit of a party, you know, boy. So I had an idea about putting it in a little baggy bird. She said, yeah, absolutely amazing. And racked up a big, fat line. Oh. No, she was wondering why we were all laughing and we were like, that was it. <laughs> so she was like, I thought it tasted off. Oh. <laughs> right, Rian there having a girly night in. But what did Rian have that looked like cocaine? And why did it taste off? Buzz in if you think you know. Oh, is Ruby. this a Keith Richards situation? Because there was a rumour that he snorted his, his own dad's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> At a girly evening? Uh, yeah, a girly evening. <laughs> My mum said she wanted her ashes snuck into the salt and pepper shakers at her favourite restaurant. <laughs> McDonald's only does sachets. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, I think that she was having a pedicure. <laughs> and that was the scrapings from the corns. <laughs> She's actually guessed it. You've guessed it, Ruby! <laughs> what have you done? I was shaving one of my friend's foot, the dead skin cells up her foot. And when I opened her up, I noticed that it looked a bit like cocaine. Oh. Went straight up, we literally all burst out laughing. And we were like, that was my friend's dead skin cells. And she was like, I thought it tasted off. Oh. <laughs> Give us a sniff of your foot. <laughs> yeah. Well done. I know dead skin. Right, honesty horse. Please give us another clip clop, please. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What? Well, oh, <laughs> what's your name and what have you done? My name's Tom. When I was younger, I used to climb out the living room window about five or six in the morning. Wow. At what um, age? About six. Where did you grow up? In Ina Blyton novel? No, no, just Leeds. Leeds, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I used to go over to my neighbour's house because they used to have a rabbit. Yeah. And um, one day they found me. <laughs> well, that's horrible. So lovely, butter wouldn't melt, early riser Tom there. What on earth was he doing at his neighbour's house at that time with a rabbit? Ooh. I'm just gonna call it, he has to be fucking the rabbit. <laughs> He's gotta be. <laughs> and years later he finds out that it wants child support. <laughs> Ruby. He's looking for the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Nish. I think he was spooning the rabbit and years later he found out the rabbit had a lovely time. <laughs> Not everything has to be filth on this show. <laughs> Any other? I oh. think it, he killed it. <laughs> he accidentally killed the rabbit. OK, shall we find out, team? Let's go back to Tom. And one day they found me holding it by its ears. And mm. then a few years later I found out that when the rabbit died it was because of me, because I killed it. Because it had a heart attack. And with those glasses, you look full serial killer. <laughs> He's a rabbit killer. <laughs> Listen, wow. I'm going to give points to Ruby for that because you did say it had something to do with death. And yeah. the little rabbit had a heart attack. <laughs> oh. Right. Another confession, please, Lou, and the honesty horse. <laughs> OK. There we go. I'll just plonk you down there. And then we're just getting the honesty horse. There we go, pop that on your, on your shoulders. Oh, hello. Hello. What's your name? My name's Sam. Yeah, I bet it is. And what have you done? Well, I once went on a holiday to Tenerife mm. and we were on our way back. When we didn't yeah. realise, they were stopping off on the way with like loads of like old women and granddads and stuff, and mm -hmm. they were all stopping off, getting on. But I thought it was just going to be one straight through. Uh, okay. And it wasn't. Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> and my husband was just telling me, "Don't do it. Just don't do it." And then I just got the. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. So that was Sam. She was on a slow-moving bus full of old folk in Tenerife. Panel. Fill us in, please. What did Sam's husband not want her to do? Oh. Absolutely. She shat in a bag, threw it at a codger. 
100% she threw a shit at an old person. Yeah. Poop of urine. Ah, oh, now we're on to something. Her husband didn't want her to urinate on the seat. Well, let's go back to Sam and the Honesty Horse for a little bit of a reveal. And my husband was just telling me, don't do it, just don't do it, because I was going to piss in a bottle. And then I just got the bottle and I peed in the bottle and it went everywhere and it went all the way down the back of the bus as well, so... What's that noise? <laughs> oh. Ain't nothing wrong with pissing on the floor. Ruby Wax! Ruby Wax! Three out of three! Three out of three! Okay, I'm a psychic. What's the one lie you wish you never told? I told someone I loved them, but I didn't love them. 69ing. <laughs> no, I don't do 69, you know. You don't? Nah. What do you do? I just prefer head myself, that's it. I don't know how I'm doing it. It's not my kind of thing. You don't go down on a woman? No. I ain't gonna lie, no girls ever complain. None of the questions Anyways. matter because you've never gone down on a woman. And you're missing out and they're missing out. It's very good for you both. <laughs> Naveen Central. I didn't know it was good for you, for the man. Very um, good for you. Yeah. I'm gay. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> Stick the dick in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's all protein. It's all fine. Rosie and I, there's a lot of chemistry <laughs> already. By the end of the show, me and Mel will shine. <laughs> Be available on the extras if you press the green button you'll see them go at it now she's gone to me in a very kind of female logic way there has to be a radio on this boat and i go i've searched there is no radio oh, a man search <laughs> oh no if it's not in plain sight for a man it does not exist i can see tits everywhere though isn't it <laughs> that's in plain sight <laughs> and i could hear them saying oh i'm so excited um about this. I've always wanted to see Timothy Spall in a play. Oh, no. uh, and I can't believe he's doing a play in such a small theatre. This is really exciting. I'm under there going, you're going to be so disappointed when I come out. <laughs> what a shame. And yet, if it was a bed with a man in, I'd rather you than your dad, oh. because I've already been there. Oh, right. Yeah, you've done that. You've done that. I'd love to know what you thought of all that, Louis. Yes, Mel, and I will reveal all in my new book, available to purchase now. So upside okay. down. <laughs> and my new book, The Right Way Out. Why did you want to read us a bit now? Chapter 5, The War in Iraq. <laughs> Just because they didn't find the weapons of mass destruction doesn't mean that they weren't there. I once lost a bracelet, for example. You know what I mean? <laughs> my friend slept through a funeral. What? Yeah, it's been four and a half years now. She didn't tell him that she was having an affair with his brother. <gasps> Very East Enders. I was going to say, doof, 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 Nothing's changing apart from there's one small thing we're changing our name to you and Dave apart from that. Nothing's changing, nothing at all. What? From the 16th of July, Dave is becoming you and Dave. Same channel, new name. Exactly the same.